Good morning everyone, we are Group 4 and this is our video report about the Police Administrative Disciplinary Mechanism. I'm Mark Russell P. Comia, and I'm with my buddy John Louis Reyes and buddy Ralph Angelo de Dios. Police Administrative Disciplinary Mechanisms Ang kapulisan ang dapat na tagapagtanggol ng mga taong naaapi at dapat silang maging mabuting halimbawa na tagapagpatupad ng batas. At alam naman nating lahat na mayroong mga kapulisan na nagsasamantala sa serbisyo at nagiging baloktot na gumagawa ng mga bagay na hindi tama. Ngunit hindi naman lahat ng kapulisan ay ganun. At dito naman tayo dumako sa four disciplinary mechanisms in the PNP. At ito ay ang halimbawa ng mga sumusunod. Ang citizens complain, internal discipline, power to dismiss PNP personnel, at internal affairs service o IAS. At gaya nga ng sinabi ko, ito ay importanteng bagay o kautosan dahil sa pamamagitan nito ay matatakot na o mapapaisip na ang ibang kapulisan na gumawa ng hindi tama sa kanilang mga serbisyo. Disciplinary Mechanisms Ito ay nirepaso at binago noong unang bahagi ng ikadalawang libo bilang bahagi ng reforma sa serbisyong sibil upang mailagay ang isang mahusay at epektibong mekanismo upang parusahan ang maling pag-uugali at mapanatili ang epekto ng pagpigil habang sumusunod sa mga prinsipyo ng natural na ustisya. Proper authorities where compliant will be brought. At ang mga sumusunod na ito ay ang Chiefs of Police, Mayors of Cities and Municipalities, at People's Law Enforcement Board. Napakagandang discussion naman yan, buddy, at napakagandang paliwanag. So ngayon, dumako naman po tayo sa susunod na ating topic. Ito ang People's Law Enforcement Board's Composition, or PLED. Number one, ito po ang sumusunod. Any member of sanguni ang panglungsod, bayan, chosen his respective sanggunian. Ang pangalawa naman, any barangay captain of the city or municipality concerned chosen by association of barangay captain. Ang pangatlo, three other members who are removal only for cause to be chosen by the local peace and order council for among the respective members of the community known for their probity and integrity. One of whom must be woman and another are member of a bar in the absence thereof, college graduate or principal of the Central Elementary School. Okay, ang number one daw po ay ang uh, Sino mga membro ng sangguni ang panlungsod, bayan, ang pumuli na pumili na kanya-kanyang sanggunian? At ang pangalawa naman, sino mga barangay kapitan ng lungsod o munisipalidad na kinauukulan ay piniling na samahan ng mga kapitan ng barangay? At ang pangatlo, or number three, uh, tatlo pang membro na matatagal lamang ng dahilan upang mapili ng lokal na konseho ng kapayapaan at kaayusan mula sa mga respetadong miyembro ng komunidad na nakilala sa kanilang karapatan ng integridad. Okay. Dumako naman po tayo sa susunod na slide. Next. No. The chairman should be elected from among themselves. Membership in the PLEB or People Law Enforcement Board Composition is a civic duty. However, they are entitled to per GM as may be determined by the connected sanggunian. One of the PLEB members must be a woman or uh, isa raw sa membro ng People Law Enforcement Board's composition ay kailangan ay babae. Next naman ay ang Section 43 of RA 6975. And number one, the PLEB by majority vote of all its member and its chairman should be determined whether or not the respondent, officer, or members of PNP is guilty of the charge upon which the complainant is based. Ang pangalawa, each case should be decided within 60 days from the time of uh, from the time the case has been filled with the PLEB. Ang pangatlo naman ay the, the procedures in the PLEB should be summary in nature conducted in accordance with due process but without strict regard to technical rules of evidence and ang E ay decision. The decision of the PLB should become final and executory provide 
that a decision involving demotion or decimal from the service may be appealed by either party with the regional appellate board with the, without 10 days from receipt of the copy of decision. Ang number one daw ng section uh, 43 ng RA 6975 ang PLEB sa pamamagitan ng ma majority vote ng lahat ng mga miyembro nito at ang kanyang alin, uh, alindog sa bawat uh, dapat pagpasya kung ang mga sumasagot na, na opisyal o miyembro ng PNP ay nagkasala sa paratang kung saan ang reklamo ay patay. Ang pangalawa naman daw ay uh, bawat isa ang kaso ay dapat pagpasihan sa loob ng anim na pung araw mula sa oras oras na ang kaso ay isinampa. Ang pangatlo naman, ang mga pamaraan sa PLED ay dapat na buod sa likas na katangian na isinasagawa alinsunod sa angkop ng proseso. Ngunit, walang mahigpit na pagsasaalang-alang sa teknikal na mga tuntunin ng ebidensya. Ang inaman daw ay ang, ang desisyon ng PLED daw ay magiging final na executoro, executory sa condition na ang desisyon pinasasakotan ng demosyon o pagtatanggal sa serbisyo ay maaaring iapila ng alinmang partido sa regional appellate court sa loob ng sampung araw mula sa pagtanggap na kopya ng desisyon nito. Ayon sa Section 68 of RA 8551, the chairman of the PLEB should be elected from among its members. The term of office of the members of the PLEB should be for a period of three years from assumption of office. Uh, compens compensation. Uh, membership in the PLEB is a civic duty. However, PLEB membership should be paid for GM and should be provided with life insurance. Coverage as they may be determined by the city or municipal council from city of municipal funds. Next naman tayo, dito naman tayo sa authorities who can exercise disciplinary powers in any discipline. Number one, uh, internal discipline. Ano ba ang internal discipline? On dealing with minors offenses involving internal discipline found to have been committed by any regular member of their respective commands, the duty design supervisor and equivalent officers of the PNP should after due notice and summary hearing. Chief of Police or Equivalent Supervisor may summarily impose the administrative punishment of admonition or a reprimand restriction to specified limits withholding or of privilege for the chore of salaries, super suspension or any of the combination of the uh, fair going provided that in all cases the total period shall be extended in 15 days or uh, kalahating buwan. Okay. Chiefs of Police Summarily impose the administrative punishment of admonition or reprimand Restriction to specified limits, withholdings of privileges, forfeiture of salary or suspension and the total shall not exceed 15 days. Number 2. Provincial Directors or Equivalent Supervisors Provincial Directors may summarily impose the administrative punishment of admonition or reprimand, restriction to specified limits, withholdings of privileges, forfeiture of salary or suspension, or any of the combination of the foregoing provided that in all cases, the total period shall not exceed 30 days. Provincial Directors, the total period of punishment shall not exceed 30 days. Number 3. Police Regional Directors or Equivalent Supervisors Police regional directors shall have the power to impose upon any member the, the disciplinary punishment of dismissal from the service. He may also impose the administrative punishment of admonition or reprimand, restrictive custody, withholding of privileges, suspension or forfeiture of salary, demotion, or any combination of the foregoing provided that, in all cases, 
the total period shall not exceed 60 days. Police Regional Directors, the total period shall not exceed 60 days. Number 4. The Chief of PNP The Chief of PNP shall have the power to impose the disciplinary punishment of dismissal from the service, suspension, or forfeiture of salary, or any combination thereof for a period not exceeding 180 days, provided further that the Chief of the PNP shall have the authority to place police personnel under restrictive custody during the pendency of a grave administrative case filed against him or even after the filing of a criminal complaint, grave in nature against such police personnel. Chief of PNP, the total period shall not exceed 180 days. Forum Shopping Forum Shopping is a multiple filing of complaints. When an administrative complaint is filed with a police disciplinary authority, no other case involving the same cause of action shall be filed with any other disciplinary authority. Forum shopping is also an act by a party of filing multiple similar actions before different courts in the hope of securing a favorable judgment in one, a wool, or absence without official leave. Any member of the PNP who shall go on a wool for a continuous period of 30 days or more shall be dismissed immediately from the service. Now, let's talk about disciplinary affiliate boards. There are two affiliate boards. One is the National Affiliate Board and two is the Regional Affiliate Board. Now, let's talk about the difference of the National Affiliate Board and the Regional Affiliate Board. One. National Appellate Board consider appeals from decision of the Chief of PNP, while Regional Appellate Board consider appeals from the decisions of the Regional Directors, other officials, mayors, and the PE PLEB. Women's Desk Women's Desk administer cases involving crimes against chastity, sexual harassment, abuses committed against women and children and other similar offenses. All complaints and reports under the women's desk shall be written in a separate blotter book, known as the Pink Book or Pink Blotter Book. Next is participation of local executives in the administration of the PNP or Philippine National Police. A. Provincial Governor um, The Provincial Governor shall choose the PNP Provincial Director from a list recommended by the PNP Regional Director. Did you know that the Provincial Governor also serve as a Chairman of the Provincial Peace and Order Council and oversee the implementation of the Provincial Public Safety Plan? Last one is the City and Municipal Mayors. City and Municipal Mayors shall serve the operational supervision and control over the PNP in their respective jurisdiction, shall develop and establish an integrated area public safety plan, shall have the power to impose notice and summary hearing for minor offenses committed by the PNP in their respective jurisdiction. City and municipal mayors are also authorized to choose the chief of police from a list recommended by the provincial director. They are also authorized to recommend the transfer, reassignment, or details of PNP members outside of their area. And lastly, city and municipal mayors are also authorized to recommend the appointment of new member of the PNP to be assigned in their area. That is all about the Police Administrative Disciplinary Mechanism. We hope that you understand our video report and learn something new. Again, this is Group 4 and have a wonderful day.